What's up, boys and girls? How are you doing? How are you doing? Today, we are on the Google Play Store, and we're going to check out if my $160 phone, my 8,000 peso phone that's sitting in front of me, is a better choice to use than this $85 Logitech camera. Is this phone better than that webcam? It should be. Because the webcam is over five years old now. It's not, I didn't buy it five years ago. I just bought it this year. But the webcam, uh, it was developed five years ago. Could you imagine me using, are you using a five-year-old phone? And trying to take pictures with it? I mean, things have progressed a lot. But this camera is still the main camera used by most streamers. By most YouTubers that record, you know, that don't have a professional studio set up. So those people that are just getting start, started out, they're usually buying this webcam. Now, do you need to spend the money on this webcam? Or could you find a better alternative? If you have an Android phone, this IP webcam is absolutely free to, to use, okay? And it's rather... It's it's not difficult, and I'm going to show you the quality of it in a second. But what I want you to know is, if you go ahead and install this, if you, you're using your phone right now, you have an Android phone, uh, go ahead and install this. I'm going to give you a second, all right? And then once you have it installed, it's going to be a bit overwhelming. You're going to see this screen here. Okay, you see that? That's what's going to start out. Now, video preferences is where you're going to go in and set your resolution and your screen quality. I have my, uh, well, video quality. I have my video quality set at 100, which caused a bit of a latency issue on this due to the router that it's connected through is actually used by several of the the people here in the house for TV, YouTube, and such. I have two routers. I should have used the other router and probably would have been smoother. But I do want to actually show what it could like. I want to show it on the cheapest camera, the phone I have here, the $160 phone. And I'd rather show uh, what problems you could run into using the Wi Fi connection. All right. I am not sure if you can use this over USB or not. If you can, that would be great. There's other software that I'm going to be reviewing this week that you can use it over USB. And I'm going to bring that software to you guys as well, a review of that. I want to bring you guys, I want, I want you to be able to use the best software you can to get you started. The one thing I do really 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 like about this besides this 100% free is you your screen you can have it running with your screen off so you don't have to worry about any kind of burn in there's no logo showing or anything like some of the other apps that I've seen <clears throat> it is just run in the background and your screen can go off and it's still running you have to set that up in the settings though if you guys want to, that information, just say say so in the comments below. If you can't figure it out, if you uh, ask if you ask a question like that, I'll go ahead and make a video on setting this particular th thing up. So if you run start server, it's all the way at the bottom. You run that, it's going to start up a screen. It's going to show the IP address at the bottom. Now, in OB <laughs> OBS, you're going to have to open a like in your scene. You're going to have to open add and then browser, okay? So you're going to type that IP address in the browser. Now, when you do just that IP address, you're going to see a settings screen, okay? Like a system screen. That's not what you want. So what I need you to do is after that IP address, after you've typed that out, do a backslash and do video. And when you do that, you get the camera. Now, 
you guys can see both side by side here. You can see the quality difference already, right? One thing I want you to be able to see is the lights in the back on both of them at the same time right there. The LED lights, how, how you see it on the walls, the shadows. Now the webcam is darker. I do kind of like the darkness of the webcam. But the room isn't really that dark. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of artificial. And with OBS, you can add filters and lots and such. So that's the one issue. And I need to get down low because the, the, the phone is actually lower than the webcam. Let me move the webcam around here. So it's about even with that. Uh, almost even so it's at, at an even um spot but you guys can see right S see the difference between the two cameras see the difference between the light and the background so if you're trying to do like a so if you're trying to put a mic way over there you probably didn't hear me so if you're trying to do like uh some background lighting effects and everything for your studio i'm thinking this would be show a lot better quality almost as good as a dslr almost not as good okay and another thing is when you're doing videos if you're doing product reviews especially or you're showing something on screen uh, if you do it on the webcam like i want to show you this you see it's not really focusing on that it will focus sometimes, but it has a hard time focusing. Now, if I do it in the phone, <laughs> well, now the phone doesn't want to focus on it. Okay, there we go. And it blurs everything out as a boga. All right, webcam. Nothing's blurred. Come on, focus webcam. It'll do it sometimes, but it doesn't really do it well. And there's the phone. And you can see automatically how it's just blurred everything out. It's focusing on that. And that's just beautiful. So this is the IP camera. And the latency issue could be solved as you can see like if I it's a little slower just like half a second slower because of the Wi-Fi maybe actually it doesn't look like it's lagging that much right now but if you have a congested network or something like that you're going to get a latency issue yeah see it's a little mm, just like a little off because it's through Wi-Fi. Now, you can set the quality down just a little lower. Maybe set it to about 80, 70. Play with it. See what you can do. It also depends on your phone, what Wi-Fi your phone has. Maybe you're like, uh, I believe this has Wi-Fi 5. If you have Wi-Fi 6 and your router and your router is Wi-Fi 6 as well, you're definitely not going to have to worry about latency issues. So, that's something to think about. Also, with this app, I flipped it because I like to actually be able to point at stuff on my screen and point at the right area. See, if something's at the top left side and I'm pointing top, I say, okay, check out the top left. You see the webcam is pointing top right, not top left. Just because it's flipped, you know, it's recording. Yeah, so... um. That's a very annoying thing to have on a stream. It's like, okay, trying to figure out where, which way to point. Okay, hit that like button right down there. But if you're doing it on the webcam, you're not pointing towards the like button. You're pointing towards the subscribe button. <laughs> so, yeah, that helps out, I think. I like that. I like that option. So, guys, I hope this helps you with choosing whether or not to spend your money on a 4,000 peso camera or maybe use the one that's already in your pocket that could possibly have a better image 
especially when you're using it for these smaller boxes like this. There's no need to to uh, spend extra money to get started. If you want to get started streaming, or you are streaming, but you want to add your base on the stream, go ahead and do it. Use the what's in your pocket. Don't worry about spending that extra money. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button, which is down there in the bottom right. <laughs> hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. We will be coming out with a few more videos talking about different apps to use for your phone in OBS. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask because I am here to help you guys. And if you want to win some free games, by the way, check us out every Saturday. We do drop a video out every single Saturday with uh, a chance for you to win a free Steam key to one random lucky commenter. All right, check that out. Peace out, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sticking around for this long in the video. And stay safe. Keep social distancing. Keep staying healthy. Stay alive. Peace out. Love you guys. Bye. The subtle games that you are playing. And you don't even know I exist. You have got me on your hit list. And you're conspiring. Girl, you are sexual and bad. And now you got this on your conscience.